the first book we have of the very first season, 1918 to 1919, starts just announcing that they've hired somebody, Nikolai Sokolov, to work with the schools and that he's going to be forming an orchestra. Eventually, we get to December, where we talk about the actual premiere concert. The first concert of the orchestra was a benefit for St. Anne's Parish in Cleveland Heights to raise money for a new roof. So we have the advertising and then we have the headlines. New symphony orchestra and pleasing debut and new orchestra's concert pleases. So lots of really interesting articles about how the first concert went. The first photo we have is from 1919. It's from November and it's a concert that was done at Gray's Armory with the duo art piano and it plays with the orchestra as a soloist, but there's nobody sitting at the piano. So it was kind of a new invention at the time, and we were one of 13 cities that had a concert with it, and it was such a big deal, they took a picture of it. So that's our very first picture. The very first recording that the orchestra produced was in 1924. So this is, uh, we have five copies of it. Two are currently on display, um, and our first recording was 1924, it's the Tchaikovsky 1812 Overture. This has a really unique recording history. The um, 1812 Overture was shortened to fit on the side, so you can only put four and a half minutes per side of the wax base, and it took them hours to record perfect takes. In the very last 10 seconds of the piece, on the best take they'd done so far, um, the musicians that were sitting on packing boxes, their boxes collapsed in the very last, literally six bars of the piece. <laughs> 